All right, peeps. So I'm back in the car. I'm going to reinstall the cluster. The uh, like the chrome rings around the gauges is now dried, so it's time to reinstall. Get this car on the road. What's up, Jake? I fell. You fell? Yeah. Or were you playing in mud? I was coming to land, and after I fell. Well, you should go go take your boots off. And go wash your hands. Yeah, well, go wash your hands and make sure you get them clean. It might hurt a little bit, but then come back outside and help me with the car. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's get that in there. It's pretty straightforward. Got a few plugs. And it's like you can't plug them wrong because one is, is bigger than the other. And obviously, well, the yellow one. <laughs> I mean, you can't put the yellow one in the blue one spot, and you can't put the blue one in the yellow one spot. So it's pretty straightforward. There's uh, two screws that go here. The only thing that's a little tricky is, um, you see there's there's two there. You need to put the proper one in the right spot, because if not, when you go put like the, the shield or whatever, the, the molding that goes around it, it doesn't screw in right, because there's already a screw in its place. But, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I don't think you could fuck up that. So, all right, let me get that in there. All right, pretty straightforward. Just popped right back in. You align the right screws, and there's a total of six. And uh, that's about it. So right now I popped the hood. I'm gonna run in and go get the battery. I've been charging it uh, like a day and a half. Let's see if it does a difference. If not, I'm gonna need a new battery. I'm gonna bring in my little drill. I left it in the car overnight because I knew I was gonna use it tomorrow. Well, today. Yesterday I knew I was gonna use it today. It sounds a bit better. And uh, that's about it. A little bench. Probably throw that in the trunk so it's out of the way. And. Maybe this weekend we'll be able to use a Civic to go and see the baby instead of running the big V6. Save a little bit on gas and that. You know, it's a fun car to drive because it's manual and stuff like that. So, all right, let's go get the battery. Well, it looks like it started right up. And yes, I know I have a check engine. I have, um, technically all the sensors on the header are fucked. So, uh, it's probably running really rich or something like that. But anyways, I am completely changing the block out of this vehicle next spring and I really don't give a fuck I mean besides the fact that it might cost me a little bit more gas or it might idle a little different and uh, that's it and I got the other light for the handbrake which was burnt and I changed all the bulbs out which was nice So it started right up. That's technically what we we're. Good. Good to know. Again. Take the key completely out. Pop it back in. Oh yeah. Now it's just a question of letting it sit. We're uh, trying it. I'm probably going to go around the park, try it out a little bit quick, quick, and see uh, see if it changes anything. So, uh, oh my god, I think I'm going to have to change the wipers on this one too. Look, we're spraying. <laughs> All right. Get you later. Massaging the baby. <laughs> I think she's pooping or something. <laughs> She's not happy, that's for sure. Do you want to pacify her? Hello, TPB. Get you there. Oh, you know, baby, the red glow. This is Benny, it's me who takes the relève for Alex. So, we changed her couche and the equipment of the dermatologist. All right, peeps, once again. Fun starts up. I had to go to uh, Car Quest or Napper, or whatever you guys want to call it. I was missing a few of these. 
on uh, the brake pads and I guess it's really important if not you'll hear them rub all the time and it could just cause problems and they usually when you buy premium uh, level brake pads these come with it and I just bought like the cheapest I didn't have any of these so I had to reuse the old ones and the old ones are kinda well they're kinda old really <laughs> So uh, usually these are about 20 bucks a pack locally, like I think they're $15.99 per side, so that's like 30 bucks, 35 bucks with tax. The guy just went and took these off a premium brake pad set and said, look, I'll just call the company and I'll get more or whatever. So that was cool. I'm like, cool, so I saved on that. I'm going to buy some, uh, some discs or rotors or whatever you want to call these. So then I'll have the job completely done the way it's supposed to, new pads, new rotors, because uh, it was smoking a little bit, and uh, they're worn down kind of crooked. I hope my pads aren't too bad right now, but uh, obviously the steel is, is, is stronger than the pad. It'll eventually wear down even, but uh, I just want to do the job right, and uh, that's where we're at. I'm going to jack the car up and take it all apart and put it all back together again. I'll keep you guys posted. Pretty straightforward and easy. I mean, I already took everything apart before, so obviously the second time around and like a week ago is going to be really easy to take things apart. So I got the new one on there, and uh, there's the old one. You can see it's well, the pads were starting to wear it down, right? But I figured, fuck, for 50 bucks, I'll just throw it on there and next pad change, or the next person that might buy this car won't have to do that. Just change the pads if they change it on time. Because uh, if you wear down your pads too low, you got to change these out too. So uh, just a question of putting things back together. I already have the bracket on that I need to take off to slide this off. and Put the pads in and then put the caliper back on. I'm done. Pretty straightforward. Pretty easy actually. Take me about a whole an hour to get this done. So cool. Let you guys go. Still moving forward. Getting this thing up to shape. This thing needed some TLC in big time. All right, peeps. I'm out. So I'm already done the first side to show you guys the satisfaction of off with the old. And I still need to take it out of the bag, but on with the new. So it's really straightforward. It's coming apart really well. I was missing those little springs that hold back the pads. So that might have caused the, uh, the smoke I had. I had quite a lot of smoke going on. and Maybe it's just because they're, they're, they're like budget brand pads. And uh, they smoke a lot at the beginning. I have no idea. I was just not comfortable with it, so I figured I'd get some new, uh, some new uh, rotors and uh, throw them on. And then I'll know the job was done 100%. So that's about it. I mean, just throw this back on. Pretty straightforward. You got the bracket here. It's got two big, two big bolts, which are, I think they're 14, 17, 17 mil. I hold it in there and the rotor slides in between. Put that on. The rotor first, put that on, then your pads, then the caliper, and you're done. So it's pretty straightforward. The only thing that makes a job like this long is if, you know, it hasn't been taken apart in like two years or whatnot or just wasn't taken care of. So everything's seized up and everything breaks like what it did on me the first time. So let me let me get her done. I want to go see the baby today, so I want to jump in the shower and head over there. So, all right, peeps, I'm out of here. All right, it's done. I had a little trouble on one pad to get the springs or the retainers to line up with it. But uh, we got it done. Naomi, it's feeling good. Bob in the background, digging a hole to China. <laughs> so I'm gonna go try it on on the road and see uh, how it feels. And uh, that's about it. That was a quick fix. There's gonna be some smoke because there's oil on the rotors, but uh, you should finally uh, finalize all that crap. Peace out. All right, continuing. Bleh, continuing. <laughs> There's a little funny intro for you guys. Me that can't speak. Continuing with our little intro uh, vlog update with uh, Alex. We are off to the hospital again to see her. It's uh, 8:35. She drinks in 25 minutes. Mommy's gonna give her the boob, <laughs> or try to give it to her as much as he can because it's like a new thing for her. And she is one week today, as of six o'clock. So she's one day and two hours and a half. But uh, she's doing very, very, very good. I'll give you guys a little update once I get there. Of uh, you know, she's got a lot of things that have been unplugged. She's have like a main cord that went through her uh, belly button. 
because there's like a main artery ver uh, vein there and uh, they have taken that out and uh, she's off um, salute in French it's like uh, you know the, you know the bag that they hang up over your head when you're like dehydrated and you go to the hospital um, she's off that now and another thing that used to give her like controlled her, her fat or whatever she's now off that as well Technically, she's just on monitoring, like uh, monitoring her. Monitoring plus uh, breast milk that I. Yeah. That uh, mommy pulls. Yeah. Pulls from her boobs, and when we're not at the hospital, and we bring it to the hospital, so she's fed with that. And uh, I'll show you guys a little machine. It's kind of cool. It's like they put it in this big syringe, and uh, it's like a little pump, and it slowly feeds it to her, and they can adjust the time and all that. Like, okay, we're gonna give 10 cc's. This is just like. I'm throwing numbers out there. 10 cc's, and we're gonna give it to her like in 45 minutes, and then uh, they wait an hour after she's she ate, or 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 actually no, they check it before they feed her again to see if she had digested the milk that she was given, and if she hasn't digested it or there's too much, they'll they'll give 10 cc's over an hour and a half span or something like that. So it's you know they're they're just taking care of her and you know making sure she's well. But right now, the big kick for us not being able to bring her home is, first of all, she's not 37 weeks old. And second, they need to make sure that uh, she drinks sufficiently by herself. So yeah. That she's autonomic. Yeah, so she's like, you know, she's able to drink off the boob and get the right amount of milk that she needs. And also that she uh, takes her bond to yeah, also that she's starting to gain weight because there's always a drop of weight after they're born and then slowly they start to climb back up. But she should she should have gained weight a little bit, a few ounces by now. We were going to take the Civic, but uh, Mommy's kind of scared because uh, the brakes were smoking really bad and and it really stinks like shit too when it fucking smokes like it was, that. It was stinking on us. Yeah, uh, then we go see the baby and we smell like fucking brake smoke or whatever. Yeah. And then the nurse said, oh, it's not that bad. I can... Uh, it, it smells like you guys have come from the garage. Yeah, I can <laughs> smell it and my nose is blocked. That's what she said. <laughs> that, that was bad. <laughs> but the other one didn't smell it. So, so we took the van. I'd like to take the Civic because it's uh, less expensive on fuel. A lot less expensive like this. It's probably a hundred dollars to fill, and it doesn't last too fucking long. Twenty-four valve V six, and mommy's mommy's careful on the gas, like on the gas pedal, not to rev it up too high. But I mean, it's automatic; it shifts up at like three thousand some odd RPM. It's not like the Civic where we can just you know drop down into fifth and uh, just cruise along. And also, talking about vehicles. I changed the discs as you guys saw in the video and now finally got the brakes figured out and all this and that. I can work under the hood. It was spitting and sputtering at uh, low RPM like from 1,000, well 900 it's, is, is, is its idle RPM to about 2,500. Um, I have one spark plug wire that's fucked so right now it's running off three cylinders and the spark plugs need to be changed. So that's my next... Uh, next purchase for the vehicle and I'm also going to get a new distributor cap while I'm at it so distributor cap wires plugs and uh, I'm probably going to order a uh, fuel filter because I don't think it's ever been changed that will help out a lot and uh, I did put a treatment in it for um, injector cleaners in the gas tank I bought two so the next fill we do I'm going to put another one in as well that's you fucking flooring the van or what yeah yeah I did but I said that so there's a little update. I'll meet you guys at the hospital, and uh, we get to see baby Alex. She's doing really good, and she's been she's she's awake a lot more. Her eyes are open, so she's really really cute. So uh, she was I'll, looking at you earlier. I'll catch you guys at the hospital. Ciao, peeps.